the one who is voting or choosing the ambassador. Matan Pinkas is Israeli. For most of the people sitting in front of him, this is their first encounter with an Israeli or a Jew. Coming from countries like Syria and Iran, they were taught to view Israelis as the enemy. But in Germany, in this summer camp for young refugees, both sides get the chance to overcome prejudice. For Israelis, Iran symbolizes the greatest fear of all, the people that want to destroy us. On TV, they always said, Israel is responsible for all the problems in the Middle East, that it's dangerous, so that people will think that if they start a revolution, Israel would attack. But when the Israeli guests arrived, they immediately hugged us. I wanted to shake their hand, but they hugged us. When I was a kid, seven or eight, I knew everything that was going on with Israel in Palestine, how many people were dying, but I couldn't even write my own name. I was taught to believe that Israel is the enemy. I had to believe that. The initiator of this encounter is Ehsan Abri, who fled Iran six years ago after being persecuted for his political activity. Still in Iran, he came across an Israeli Facebook group in support of the Iranian people. To all the fathers. To all the mothers. And after arriving in Germany, decided to reply with his own message. I'm not afraid of you. I don't hate you. I don't even know you. We have never met any Israeli. In Israel, this video reached Matan, who in 2015 founded the Iranian embassy in Jerusalem, an art project meant to build bridges independent of governments. He contacted Ehsan, who invited the group to Germany so they could meet in person, rather than just over the internet. Prior to the encounter, participants spent six months learning about German history, anti-Semitism and xenophobia. Preparations included visits to Auschwitz, the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin and the Jewish Museum. Politics was rarely discussed here. Instead, conversations revolve around music, sports and language similarities. But political tensions could not be ignored. Speaking to Israeli media, some asked not to show their face on camera, fearing for their families back home. I learned in school that Israelis are dangerous, and on TV we always heard that Israel kills Palestinians. But I was surprised to see that Israelis are so nice. Now I have so many good friends from Israel, and I have such a good feeling about Israelis. Wars happen between Israel and the Palestinians and also in my country. I cannot change that. But what I can do as an individual is share what I experienced here with my friends and family, tell them about our conversations with you. This summer camp is a bubble. All participants know that, but they will never forget their encounter, which they hope won't be the last. And so, through changing the mind of one person at a time, perhaps people will eventually succeed where politicians fail. <laughs>